Today I'm going to show you five different ways to get rid of light flicker. All right, let's get going. Brickology. Hey everybody, Thomas here. Today I want to talk to you about something that plagues a lot of us when we first start off doing stop motion and you know, it can rear its ugly head even for the more experienced filmmakers. And this is light flicker. What is light flicker? Light flicker is an inconsistency in the lighting to create this flicking effect on all your videos. If you think about it, what are we doing when we do stop motion? Stop motion is a bunch of pictures strung together to give an illusion of movement. So let's say you take this and this is one picture, this is another picture, this is another picture. Well, just with three pictures, if there's an inconsistency in lighting in all three, like this one's really bright, this one's kind of bright, this one's super bright, then if you imagine them strung together, it's gonna have this boom, which will get really annoying after a while. Here's an example of light flicker from one of my very first stop motions. As you can see, the inconsistency in the lighting really makes it difficult to watch after a while. So in this video, I'm gonna go over with you the top five things that you can do to get rid of light flicker. But before we start, subscribe. Your support on this channel allows me to make more tutorials and videos like this that will in turn help you make and improve your stop motion. All right, subscribe, <laughs> And now, let's get going. Number one. Take your camera, whichever camera you're using, on your phone, a DSLR, doesn't matter what it is, a webcam, and make all the settings in that camera to manual. Why do you want to do that? Well, Thomas, doesn't the camera know best? Shouldn't I keep it on auto to make the best picture that the camera can get? While theoretically that may be true, let's go back to our three picture example. If the camera sees something in this one and sets all of its settings and automatically makes this picture the best it can be, you're like, yeah, super cool. But then you go to the next picture and let's just say something's different with the lighting, something's different with something that's going on and the camera sees it, but you don't. And the camera makes this picture slightly different from this picture. Well, then you can imagine when it flips pictures to this, something will be inconsistent. Here's an example of me leaving the camera on manual mode and this is what happens. Now you can see there's just a ton of light flicker going on there, but at the time I was thinking the same thing. Well, the camera knows best, I'll let the camera do what it needs to do. It's not the case. So if you set your camera on manual and you take the time to arrange the picture and the lighting and everything that way you want it, then all three of these pictures that the, the camera sees will be very consistent and the lighting will be very consistent and you'll get rid of light flicker. Number two is black out your room. Blacking out your room means make it completely dark so no natural light gets in the room. Now this you can either accomplish with really heavy blackout drapes or a really simple way people do it is you get aluminum foil and just tape it all over your window so it shuts out all the light. I mean, that's, that's a pretty cheap way to do it. Tape and aluminum foil. Now the reason you wanna do this is because of number three. And number three is do not use the sun as your light source. Never use the sun as your light source. Big reason is because the sun is constantly moving. Remember, in one second, you're taking a number of pictures and each one of these pictures needs to be consistent in terms of the lighting. So if the sun is constantly moving, plus you don't know if a cloud gets in front of the sun, you don't know, you know, it's constantly changing. So the sun is a bad idea. Here's an example of my using the sun, and this is what happens. Pikachu was having a bad day. He was having such a bad day, his face looked like this. Now, as you can see, the lighting's fine for an individual picture, but overall, you string them all together, it creates this light flicker. So don't use the sun. Number four is wear dark clothing. Now, this is not an example of dark clothing. Um, this white sweatshirt, what is it going to do? It's going to reflect light. So whatever light source you're using, the light will bounce off of this and back onto your figure or back onto your set. And that will create an inconsistency in the lighting. Oh, another thing is make sure that what you're wearing isn't reflective. Like if you have, I don't know why you would wear it, but a disco ball shirt, you know, with all these aluminum, you know, light chrome things shining off of it. Don't do that, man. 
And number five is pretty simple, but it's just, dude, get out of the way when you take the picture. Try not to hover over your set when you're taking the picture. Get out of the way. I mean, sometimes, you know, my camera's right here, and I stand all the way back there to take a picture because I just want to make sure I'm not reflecting anything. Remember, Lego is plastic, and it's very reflective. So if you're standing in front of it or anything like that, it, it might catch you, and that might reflect, like we've talked about with the clothing, it might reflect back onto the set. So, dude, get out of the way. Try not to have any lights behind you. Try not to try to put all the lights right on the on the set and nothing anywhere else or else dude that's going to get into the picture and just to play it safe you can get these remotes so you can release the shutter on your camera without it ever touching the camera this one is from amazon this costs maybe six to eight bucks and it will activate the shutter on your dslr or your phone and this these are just headphones from my from my iphone and on this little toggle for the microphone, this plus minus to raise the volume or lower the volume, you know, the plus one will release the shutter on the iPhone. So I never have to touch the phone itself and I can get farther out of the way. You know, remember that your body is a solid and it will reflect and it will cast shadows. So dude, get out of the way. All right, I hope that gives you an idea of how to get rid of light flicker. Follow those five steps. Those are the big five for me. Follow those, should get rid of your light flicker. If at the end of that, you're like, dude, what is going on? I'm still getting light flicker. Then you can go into the more, you know, the more electrical side of things like, well, what kind of light bulbs are you using? Is the voltage consistent in your house? Is the voltage consistent in the lamp or whatever light source that you're using? Things like that, that I'm afraid I'm no electrician, so I wouldn't, you know, really particularly be able to say, hey, you need to go buy this and this and this and fix it, you know, but that's something at the last ditch, if you're like, I have no idea what's going on, that's what you can do. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe! Subscribe! Subscribe!